Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. Last video I will show you how to make a student attendance in a teacher sites. So in this video we can continue attendance report in a teacher sites. So we need to show whatever data inside database inside entry there. So we need to show inside a student attendance. Means a student attendance student reports. So first of all we need to create a new menu inside a attendance attendance report. Yes, last video you can see so I already copy paste and I have commented for this menu so in this video we can make an uncomment and we can create a new routes and after we need to show to student attendance means attendance reports so let's open your code I have already opened my code just go to resources inside go to views inside you need to go to layouts and after you need to open like header.blade.php and you need to go downs and we have already made copy otherwise you are not made so you can made now copy and paste here and after you need to make an uncomment okay so this is the uncomment i code because we have already done like uh, attendance in like students teacher sites so you can see it and after i have made an uncomment for this code means i have created a new menu so just we can change like teachers attendance reports and we are segment using the reports and second segment using the attendance so we need to open the menu like a main menu this reason we are using the second segment is a attendance okay third segment is a reports so let's save and just go back and refresh the page so you can see it here like a new menu attendance reports i will click on the attendance reports so we need to create a new routes teachers attendance reports i just copy this routes means url and i just go to web.php and just i find for the admin so just i copy and I paste bottom please carefully watch because I am just copy paste work this region just I create a one query okay teachers attendance report attendance report teachers now I need to go attendance controller you need to go HTTP app HTTP controller inside you can see attendance reports so just we need to copy attendance students so this one you can copy otherwise attendance reports where is the, this is the one okay i just copy for admin one i just go down and i paste here after i will change for this function name okay so what i did first i copy admin one after i put bottom and i paste and i will change like a function name okay we need to change like get class so whatever class we are there for this teacher so just copy first routes means the first code and paste here so we can get the class about the teachers okay now we can do is a get records because we need to get a student attendance data so let's open the database so i can show you so before we can do this one so we can make a, like a new file inside teacher side teachers dot attendance inside we need to create a new file reports so just teachers attendance inside we need to create a new file report.blade.php and just you need to copy go to admin inside need to go attendance and just copy report.blade.php and paste inside a teacher sites okay so everything is clear and also you can change reset button let me show you first after you can do i just refresh now Okay, I think there is one error because the method attendance reports. Uh, let's save this. Okay, I will not save this file. This reason now I save these files. I just go back and I refresh the page. This is working very well, but here you can't found the class because we need to change the class name and class ID. So let's go back up, and here I can change. Like uh, where is the where is the class class here there so just we can change like a class name and also you can change here like a class id because inside database i got like this class name and class id okay so i save these files i just go back again refresh the page so you can see it like a part time and ss2 because here are two class suppose you can go like uh, my class and subjects so you can see it here part time ss2 this reason showing the year 2 okay so attendance type we need we don't want to change 
we need to change the reset function so is a teachers attendance reports so just go down and just we can change like admin to teachers so this is the button also change here and it says reset so I click on the resets so working very well no issue so I can choose part time so I get the data about part time okay I choose the present so I get the data about presents because of the I have copy the admin one but I don't want to show like other student like student 4 student 3 he is a no student so I go to my student so you can see it like a student one only there so no need to show other records here just need to show like a student one record okay so what we need to do we need to make a query for the only his teachers need to show his students so class wise so we need to get a two class id and this class id again we need to get the data so just go to back to controller and we need to make like here query here i can create a variable class array is equal to array and I can just pass like this so you can just follow dollar get class and I can remove inside a data dollar call class now just open the for each loop as a value class id okay so inside i get a class id data let me show you i just save and i refresh the page so you can see it now three and four you can see so i get a class id three and four so let's create a get record just go to student attendance reports inside we need to create a get records teachers and i just i need to pass like a class array this is a class id and just go insides and just copy all the code and paste bottom and you need to change this function name get record teachers and also you need to pass class ids this is the not empty if is not empty so going to inside otherwise going to else part so just copy all things and put inside if and here you can pass like a written blank okay so now everything is good so class id is again we can get the data so just we can make here like a where where in student attendance dot class id class ids so now everything is good just go back again and refresh the page so you can see it like i can make another condition here student reports inside get records i get if not admin side just need to go teacher side teacher side we need to open the report.blade.php and here you can type if is not empty get records and if and just copy paste bottom one i know we are using the for else but we are using another condition here because otherwise generate the error so please carefully add this condition after don't told me generate the errors else and just copy and paste bottom and here also you can make like this condition if is not empty so going to inside otherwise no need to go insides why i made like this condition because of we are passing like a return null so null means here is a for each loop not possible to work this reason i made another condition for else and for each loop not possible to work null this reason sometimes is like class id i found like a blank suppose you are created a new teacher new teacher is going to like a here new teacher is going to, let me uncomment after i can show you new teacher is going to inside a mic attendance reports after you can see it 
so you generate the error because uh, he, he have uh, no any class id suppose you are not assigning an admin side this reason I need, I need to make a condition here get record is not empty and also we made here condition so the pagination wise no generate issue and like a uh, also for each loop wise no generate issue and other ones that I already explained how to work like a student id wise student name wise how to make filter student last name wise how to make a filter class wise suppose I can go to ss2 so you can see record not found here is no suppose you can search like uh, absence presence so you can see it like a presence present showing and here is a also show is a created by who's a created like teachers created he's a admin created means is a teacher's name this is showing the teachers otherwise is the admin so showing the admin name so this is the dependency of whatever name you are adding inside database for this account created times so it's a simple task and very too easy to create it just we have changed like a one class list here and also we have changed like a query other same as a admin whatever did inside admin side same like here there so it's a simple one and i hope you can understand easily so but do you want to not understand just comment out and i try to answer to your comments and i hope do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and next video we can show my attendance inside a student side so student can see his attendance and after we can meet same like this reports but it's a like different way works we can make a new query and new query wise we can get the data after we can make like a class wise attendance date attendance type wise we make a filtering because we don't want to need a like student id student name and student last name wise filter okay so i think now it's clear and do you have a question so please comment and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel thank you for watching